So given a list of integers called data set, write a function called automatic histogram to automatically generate a dictionary representing a histogram of the data set with X bins uniformly distributed over the values. If you look at the example here, uh, essentially what we want to do is take the existing array of integers and just generate bins to almost represent like a histogram. Makes sense? Okay, makes sense. Yes. Cool. Let me actually ask you a couple of questions first then. So first of all, where could it be empty? Let's say that it has to be filled with some values. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, we won't go for edge cases in this scenario. Okay. And the other question is, is it sorted? Almost sorted like like this example or not necessarily? Not necessarily sorted. Ah, uh, okay. So we have here the data set and we have the number of bins. So basically we look and see it goes from one to five and we have three bins. So then it will have to be one to two. Yeah, I guess the output is here. One to two and then three to four and then five by itself in one bin. Okay. And then we count one to two. We have three values. Three to four, we have two values. And the five, we have one value. Okay. So let me start that then. So I will define a function. Let's call it as, as the question is asking automatic histogram. And we give it X and the data set. So data set and X. So let's see, how would I do this? I would. So so you said it doesn't have to be sorted. And I'm thinking out loud here before jumping mm -hmm. to the solution. So I would love to do this in an O of N time complexity. The thing is, if I sort it, that's already O of N log N. So that's not probably not the optimal solution. And instead, we can go know what the highest and lowest numbers are. So I wouldn't know what the bins are. So perhaps, perhaps I should first go over it once to see what the lowest and highest number is and also store unless it's sorted. So yeah, so let me then start with, so the, the final, the histogram or the automatic histogram, histogram, let me start with an empty one. And then, as I said, I would love, I would like to go over the list to see what and oh another question does it have to always start with one or it could start with something else whatever it could start with any number yeah. okay so yeah so i guess i would go over that list so for i in range uh or for i in data sets i'd go over it and i will test what the minimum so let me define the minimum we said it has to be that they said is not empty so to always have a first element so let me make the minimum number be that first element and also the maximum number be that first element and then i loop on it and change those so if i is less than the min number i change that make it min number is equal to i same thing for the maximum if i is greater than the max number then i change the max number to i so what i'm doing here is i'm trying to find what the min number and max numbers are since this is not sorted this nice. the other thing i would also probably want to do is i want to to see the frequency of each number store that probably store it to another dictionary which is ha that would be a hash table that i would i would use to fill in our final histogram so let's see if i can do this in the same pass here i probably could so let me define that first so let's let's call that for example element count and so this so, way we don't have to go through the array again right exactly yes yes right so so i would fill that element count so the way i would do that is I will check if it's there or not. So if I is an element count, then element count at I plus equals one. I increase it by one. While if it's not there, then I make it there. So element count at I, I set it to one. Okay. Nice. So that way, I think we have the minimum and maximum and we have the frequency of each number. Now mm -hmm. we move on to filling the actual histogram that we want as an output. To do that, so I guess we need to find the buckets first that we will be filling, or maybe you know, not the buckets, I can I can fill them as, as I go, but at least, yeah, I can fill them as I go. But how, what is the length of the, or the width of each bucket? That seems to depend on x obviously and also whether that maximum number is divisible by x or not because here you know we 
we had to have uh, three buckets, one to two, three to four, and then five. If the maximum number was seven, then it would have been one to three, four to six, and then seven by itself. Mm -hmm. So it looks like I probably need to check remainder. So let's check. So if, if that max number modulus x, if there's no remainder, like for example, if the maximum here was six, then and we have three, then it would just be simply that max number would it be the max number divided by x it would be yeah, the max number be divided by yeah. x plus the min right plus the min you're right yes yes what i'm trying to find here is the bucket width so that mm, doesn't depend yeah. on the min. it doesn't depend all right on yeah so that would be the max number divided by x since there's no no but wait if what if for example that was nine nine divided by three is three yeah that would still work. Yeah, I guess that's what it would be. And then else, if that's not divisible by, by x, that bucket with, what would it be? The max number. So in this case, for example, it's 5, 5 divided by 3. If we do, for example, the uh, integer division, that would give us 1, which is the width in this case. Actually, here we could also have made it. Is it the same? Oh no, if it's enter division, enter division, here it was six, for example, it would have been one to two, three to four, five to six. So it would have still, the width would have still been one. So I think this should work. Let's check it on a couple of examples. If, let's say if it was five, then it would work here. If it's six, then it would work there. If it was seven, seven divided by three to go here and seven divided by three would make a two so we would go one to three then four to six then seven by itself yeah same thing for eight and then for nine it would be here which would be nine divided by three which is three minus one so that's two which is correct okay so yeah so i think that is then the correct bucket width mm -hmm. now i think i'm ready to go and fill in the histogram dictionary okay so what would i do i i have to start from a minimum so let's set a variable for that let, let me call it start for example the min number that i found and then while i stop when the start the thing is is greater than that max number because i will always go yeah at, at this plus the start plus the width mm -hmm. so and they can change the start each time. So I'll say while start is less than or equal to the max number. Let me now have to uh, determine the key of the dictionary. And here the format is, so it's a string from the start dash, then the end. Oh, and it could actually be just one number if, if we are at the final one. Yep. So then, so I have to make an if condition to see which one of the two cases. Suppose that it's the last case, then if the, um, the start is equal to that max number, then let me call it bucket string, which is the key of the dictionary that we'll be making. So the bucket string would be the string of that max number. Otherwise, the bucket would be a string of the start and then put the dash then the string of the end which is the start plus the bucket width but wait are these all the cases because we could actually if this ended in seven then it would have been one three four six and seven if it ended in in eight for example then it would have been one three four six and seven eight not seven nine so there's another case here so the last one could either be a full from start to start plus bucket width like the previous ones or it could be just one number if it's equal to the max or it could be from the start until the max number mm. you know what i mean yeah so there's a third case here that this misses so so let me then add that one so so let, let's make this one as the else but then there's another case when the start plus the bucket width is actually greater than the maximum number so the case yeah the case when as i said it goes to eight so that would have been one three 
four, six, and then not seven, nine, but seven, eight. So in such case, I have to go to just eight, not to nine. So the bucket string is a string start plus the dash plus string not yeah just uh, the max number does does that make sense yeah okay so i think that way we identified the key of the dictionary now we need to fill in that key so how do i fill it in i yeah just simply i think we start with saying that that what do they call it histogram the histogram that string and that bucket string uh, start with zero and then check if it's yeah we have to loop on the start till the end of that bucket but i loop on it once because then i'll go to to the next bucket and so on so that way i'm still doing linear time so for i in i go from start to start plus bucket bucket with what do they call it start plus bucket with plus one because i need to include that last element i check if this element i is in the dictionary of counts that i the element count that i filled in earlier it's there then i make my histogram plus equal one i add it by the count at that element so histogram at the bucket string is equal to histogram at the bucket string plus the other element at so what i'm doing here is like for example if we are talking about the first bucket the start is one start plus plus bucket width is two plus one is three so we go to one and two for each of them we check if it's the counts and we see the count the count of one would be one so we add that then the count of two would be two so we add that so at the end that the count of this would be three and then nice. yeah i think that that, that that does it how do we test this oh but and i just guess you can second. test it by just running but yeah. yes but but just one second if i is greater than the max i should not count it i should not well, do i even need that the start to the end of the bucket if we're greater yeah i guess i can it could optimize it but it's not no big deal yeah let's let's try that let me make return for that histogram and see i need to think if i missed any edge cases or not but let's see if yeah, that would run oops that's a syntax error actually mm -hmm. i meant to say equal here okay let's see what else oh then there's some... execution time exceeded okay so let me let me yeah i think there's something here wrong with my logic so for i in range from this to that if you want yeah, to drag need, the to uh, code editor down you can as well and then oh, you can also okay. move the code editor in the middle all the way out by the way how can you drag this a bit down it doesn't give me oh so time. sorry if you moved the uh your cursor into the middle bar you see where that bar is in the middle ah i mean this oh, yeah, yeah yeah you can click that and it okay. will um, oh just just click it i think and then you can also drag it on the right top right hand side of the code editor i believe oh maybe not i thought we had that feature yeah i think here so yeah i think i believe here i have to check if i is greater than the max if that's the case then i have to break I might have not hmm so what could be the problem here i didn't i'm having that while i forgot to update it so mm. yeah so i obviously have to yeah, uh, to update the start, make it start plus I go to bucket width plus one. Very good. Should I try some solution? Yeah. Excellent. Nice. And you can see the that test works. cases, right? Yeah, so that's the one that we had as an example. Oh, that one was tricky. I'm glad my my code worked for it. <laughs> it's all threes, so yeah, the, it's equal to the maximum, so it only had one and counted all of them. Okay. Oh, this one was not sorted. 
Uh, but yeah, so my code went to first found the minimum, which was one, and the maximum, and uh, it knew that, yeah, it's only one, so it has to be from one to nine and count. Okay. This one, that one was sorted. That one is kind of easy, easier actually. So yeah, it went on with all the counts. 